how good were you at mathematics well i wasn't and uh, it was always a subject which actually scared me a lot with me is miss madhvi who is going to tell us exactly how students should prepare for the cbse semester 1 board examinations as far as mathematics is concerned is it a subject that students need to be very scared of usually students are yes students are scared of mathematics in class 10 because there was a there must have been a drop somewhere like uh the expansion of the subject takes place from class 6th onwards where the emphasis uh, must have not uh, been taken and uh, the same the same strategy supplied by student uh, in class 5 is continued in 6th there the drop starts so the expansion of the subject demands the expansion of the attention uh, from the student also and uh, due to which uh, uh, the concepts when the the drop comes it continues and by 10th it is a scary subject otherwise it is not so uh, let's talk specifically about the board examinations that are going to take place semester 1 board examinations first time on omr sheets uh, mcq based examination so my first question is does it necessitate a different kind of approach to mathematics uh, with regard to the mcq based exam yes definitely sure uh, why there was a three and a half hours space previously so the mindset of the parent and the student is stuck there only they now have to come to the new mode so mcq it is mcqs are uh, do give a chance of correct and incorrect it is one or uh, no and one or zero so then uh, what is happening the student does not have much chance of scoring any half it here there and nothing is there so that is one of the drawbacks but the strategies can be like a, a traditional way of solving can be reduced traditional way of solving de- uh, demands reasons steps expansions and all uh, some students are quick faster they uh, don't like to mention all those things for them it is an advantage they can be quicker and faster and come to the conclusions and finish and give the answers faster Uh, and it is uh, stress free uh, up to some extent i can say why because um, as when they are not traditionally writing not writing all those steps it is a stress free exam and uh, some questions cannot be questioned in the exam like long answer questions cannot be asked so they can convert them into small questions teachers can adopt methods like convert them in uh, convert them into small questions and ask them and simplify the subject and uh, uh, synthesize uh, all you know in uh, small small capsules each question can be made and asked so uh, specifically mentioned about speed now how does a student who perhaps is not good at solving sums quickly how does he improve you know how does he fare better on the speedometer between now and the examination exactly so uh, the practice one first first and foremost thing in mathematics is practice yes. that anybody has to do but for them for the students those who are uh, like back benches we say they are uh, they can they have the textbook has got designed in such a way that they can have a selective study not all sub, uh, chapters are not all concepts are challenging some concepts are very easy and there is a 30% reduced syllabus they can depend on and uh, they can um, like you know many uh, multiple choice questions are coming and if they depend on ncert textbook and practice the concept and apply them to the uh, extra material they will definitely excel so let's break it down ma'am uh, trigonometry algebra geometry does each one of these units also need call for a different approach uh now for the december examinations definitely it is uh, uh, like a trigonometry when you say there are Maybe simple concepts with the help of an example yeah simple uh, simple question like t ratios next uh, concept is applying them to angles uh, trigonometric angles fourth is the third one is the uh, actually complementary angles which is dropped now deleted from the syllabus now the fourth is the uh the identities now identities questions are less they are simplified whereas uh, angle questions and the t- t- trigonometric ratios questions are simpler so they can depend on those two exercises and less on the third so they have to be smarter teachers have to make the student smarter to select make selection for scoring conceptually teachers can ma- master them in uh, the classrooms but exam is something only for 2 hours so they have to 90 minutes exam they have to excel they have to read for 20 minutes 
take the OMR, fill the OMR, 20 minutes reading, then the 90 minutes exam. That is the game time. So, game time has to be achieved completely fully means they have to, there should be a smarter preparation. The smarter preparation is selective preparation. The selective preparation in trigonometry is first and the second exercise. In the real numbers is a very simple and four questions come. It is also uh, very easy. Polynomials, again the third division is, uh, divisions is dropped. They can depend on that. And the linear equations is a continuous subject. They can depend on that. And coordinate geometry where areas is again dropped. So those two exercises, I am saying that the concepts may be many, but the area of preparation is reduced. Whereas triangles, they can depend less on that probability is more dependable chapter topic so that for scoring, scoring purpose. So when they ensure certain areas, the triangles can be the, the last one. So uh, they score better. This question comes from a student. He is asked the various patterns in maths which can be used to find approximate answers quickly. So how can we find them out? I know how do we know the various patterns in maths? Uh, we, uh, to come to quick uh, answers uh, like uh, the, the shortcuts. shortcuts, equations are given, like uh, answer for the equation. Instead of solving the equations, find the values of x and y in a pair of linear equation. Substitute and check. Substitute in both the equations. Instead of solving them, solving takes time. Whereas you substitute back, substitute in that and find the answer. Similarly, in the HCF and LCM of the questions. In the HCF also, the, the two numbers which are divisible by the given ones, it is uh, HCF and uh, it, it is easy. That way it is easy. You have to go from the answer to the question, then it becomes easy in MCQs. Uh, he also asked, how can we figure out which questions will consume time? For instance, during the 20 minutes of reading time. Of course, it depends largely on your own preparation level. But uh, how do you figure out the questions which are actually going to take consume more time than the ones which will you will be able to get the answers first? The, uh, I can say that generally, uh, triangles and trigonometry are time consuming. And the, some certain concepts, if the language is not understood in coordinate geometry, that also is uh, time consuming, like equidistant. Equidistant is a concept children generally go wrong. They generally go wrong in uh, implying the, applying the midpoint. Midpoint and equidistant are different concepts. So there uh, they um, uh, approach, they come, get the answer faster in midpoint, whereas in the equidistant. So they go wrong in that one. In the triangles is a demanding uh, uh, area. So they go, it is time consuming. Uh, trigonometry, again time consuming. Easy areas are probability, HCF, LCM, polynomials and CBQs. Competency uh, based questions are there. They are simpler. They are uh, simpler and uh, uh, the situation is understood well. They, it can be answered faster. So, so beyond the practice etc which is of, of course a given as far as the maths exam is concerned. If tomorrow is my maths paper, what should I do today in order to do well tomorrow? You should not solve first of all. You should be, uh, if you start solving anything, uh, then it gives you a lot of tension. So, what you are supposed to, you should read more questions. Number, uh, like number of question papers, read. And what is an, uh, like a demanding question, like this I don't know, that only has to be solved. Otherwise, generally, uh, you have to, uh, then what do you say that you have to become friendly with the page to page of NCRT textbook. You have to, like a, a talking, walking NCRT book, it should be. Then you will come to know that, uh, like uh, maybe my, with my experience, I say this page, that page, that question and all. I expect my students also to, also to master in that way. This page, you, this question. Uh, it is a technique of a maths teacher to attract them actually. Like you know, then they feel that oh, this maths teacher has got some spark. No, I, so I, I agree. I mean, that uh, visual memory is very important. You know, you know that, okay, on top left, I had made that scribbling with the pencil. Last question, and this is sent to me uh, by the son of one of my school classmates. Uh, he, and slightly abstract, he writes, when a word problem is presented, how do you train the mind to perceive the information as a set of mental images for easier problem solving? Uh, mental images are possible only in... Um, areas related to circles in the term one exam and tri um, sorry uh, triangles and mental image can be there in the polynomials but not in all questions so mental images uh, only few questions uh, give you the mental image uh, like uh, mensurations only 
uh, yeah when we say when you read the question itself you need to understand what is the object given in the question objective of the question later comes object what is given like i, ex I ex for example there is a um, minute hand from uh, like 95 to 915 what is the area swept by the minute hand so minute hand in a clock so clock picture so clock you draw what how when it is a clock what is the visual uh, idea mathematical idea circle then then my minute hand how does it work then it that is classroom training so they are quicker in that when when clock comes draw a picture then it uh, then like that and the concentric circles or any uh, like uh, washer questions space between two circles and the width so they have to the, when i come to the clock question what is the minute hand in a clock when you visualize as per circles and is the radius when the time time requires the degree measure so the area swept is degree measure required how do you calculate that is one uh, one minute is six degrees so these are six de one, one minute is six degrees is taught in the class but it has to be mastered 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 and applied there there they will not calculate if they start calculating again one to one question takes and the teachers have to emphasize how much time to be spent on each question and uh, not only that certain areas are faster whereas trigonometry triangles require a lot of time so save your time answering the other chapter questions and save your time for these questions and spend some time on them and uh, finish the paper at least 10 to 15 minutes before the uh, final time final bell and uh, revise once again revise in the sense not uh, again read and all it has to be like you have to solve the question where you are not sure and uh, mark it that is okay. i'm very confident the students are going to find your very very specific tips very useful thank you very much for your time thank you <laughs>